I don't know the kind of head you are thinking of, but please, it's not that kind of head that you are thinking that you're dating mine. Hello guys and welcome back to Ekman TV. Uh, it's another beautiful start today, a great day for a great video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about cultural shocks in Australia, you know, things that I've experienced here that are maybe a little bit different from what I used to experience back home. So sit back and enjoy. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So, um... Let's get right into it. The first shock I experienced, the first thing I actually experienced here was the style of the head is different. I don't know the kind of head you are thinking of, but please, it's not that kind of head that you are thinking that you're dating mind. The head I'm talking about is this head, head, like charger head like this. This is the one we usually use in Nigeria. But when we came here, when I came here, I said that this is the kind of head they use here, this one. Mm -hmm. So please, this is the head I'm talking of. I don't know what you are thinking of, please. So the second thing, guys, is, you know, upon coming here, this is the first place I, in fact, okay, let me, it's just like a little story. In, in Nigeria, we used to have this zebra crossing, you know. So it was as if those things didn't mean anything. You know, when, when, <laughs> when you want to cross the road and you match that, nobody really cares. If uh, the car is crossing, it will stay across. But here, the zebra crossing, it's, I, I, I actually understood what the stuff means, like if you, if you are trying to cross the road, the car will just stop for you. In fact, if a car is coming close to a zebra crossing, the car will just monitor if there is someone who wants to cross or maybe who is even showing an intention of crossing, the car will stop for you and you cross. But in Nigeria, you know how it is now, you try it, you, you, it's in the hospital that you, you will stay <laughs> for weeks. The next thing I want to talk about is that here, everything is done by appointment. You must book everything. If you want to go for, if you want to even enter a bus, you have to wait, you have to schedule. You know, you have um, at the app where you have to know when your bus is coming, you schedule and all those things. If you want to see a doctor, you must book. You know, back in Nigeria, you can just walk into any hospital, blah, blah, blah. You just see the doctor. But here, you don't do that. You just book. You have to call them first and book. An appointment with the doctor so here everything is done by booking so another stuff is um communication man like you know australia is actually an english-speaking country it's an english-speaking country but i don't know what is wrong i don't know whether it's just me or whether it's a general problem when people talk like speak their english it's always very hard for me to understand and maybe i not thought about it i was like maybe i wasn't really this good in english or like in Nigeria, if you are speaking to someone, when you are when you are speaking English with someone, you know, at some point, maybe if you are hooked, you can just switch to Pidgin English. Uh -huh. Then when you are okay, but well, here you are not going to switch anything. You speak that English. You see that English, you speak it. You speak it. <laughs> Sometimes I maybe mean, when I have to make a call, maybe to call someone, like to call maybe IT support or to call, I'm even thinking, God, what am I going to say? What well, should I speak Igbo for these people? <laughs> So that's one thing also. So now the next thing I want to talk about is the dressing. The dressing here is different. Like, you know, back at home in Nigeria, when you want to go out as a guy, you have to iron your clothes, you know, wear jeans, you know, look tush now, make sense. But here, ah, it's not like that too. Anything you see, anything you have, that's what anything you can just see. Like the, the, the first time, for those of you who have watched my um, uh, 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 video where I went to church, the first church service, Sunday service I, I attended here. You know, in that video, I was actually dressing like the normal way we dress when we want to go to church now in Nigeria. But here, no, you don't dress like that. In fact, when you go to uh, service, you see people wearing shorts, you know, wearing just normal. Nobody cares about dressing here. People don't even care about ironing their clothes. You just People just wear anything they want to wear. So if you are trying to maybe iron your clothes, do everything, to sh you are doing that one in your pocket. So nobody really gives a rat's ass about that here. So another thing I want to talk about, another shock is the rent here, man. The rent is like mad. You can see like one of the, 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 the that's one of the problem I know. It's also like that in many Western countries like UK, US, Canada. The rent is very, very expensive. You see rent going as high as maybe $250 per week, all those kind of things, $300 per week, like $400 per week. What are you doing? 
after if you are someone who is working after all the work you still carry it and can parents like men so that's just one thing you know back in nigeria rent is not that expensive if you are looking at the self call you can get that for 150k 200k and that's for a year but here ha. no 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 it's just a very very big shock to me it was a very big shock to me when i you know do, did the comparison and i discovered that men rent is really cheap in nigeria compared to this place but another downside to it is that food is expensive in nigeria and food is cheap here so that's just it it's a give or take situation so another thing i discovered in this particular city although i think this is um for this particular city in brisbane people don't usually trek like you know when you come out of the road you see people trekking in nigeria you see people are just walking maybe going to their place or visiting people but here you can just drive through the road like you will not see anybody trekking if you see someone the person is just walking his or her dog or the person is just exercising but you don't see someone like dressing and walking on the road everything is everybody just either you have a car or you take the bus so nobody does that stress stuff trekking Although me, I try to cool because sometimes I'll be like, ah, look at where I'm going at short distance. Why should I enter that bus? Eh? So, you know me, sometimes I'll be the only one trekking on the road and I don't care. <laughs> so, another cultural shock is uh, calling people by their first name. You know, here, yeah, nobody does this. Uh, you know, in Nigeria now, ah, uh, Mr., uh, Chief, uh, Sir, nobody does all those things. So. Like, even my supervisor, my supervisor told me that I, I can't be calling a baby, but then sad this, or I should just call him by his first name. And, you know, as a good boy from Nigeria now, you know how we do it now, you always are, hello sir, nobody cares about that here. So, the person doesn't even want, to, professor not even wanted to attach the prof in their name. I mean, just if the person's name is John, just hello John, hi John. When we are sending emails, that's how we write it. Everything we just address the person by his first name, which is actually weird to me, you know. But at so I, I think I think I'm beginning to understand the whole gist. It's just all about keeping everything simple, keeping everything casual. You don't be intimidated by anybody's title. So that's why you can actually maybe come to a, a club and you will just be gisting with someone who is maybe a prof and maybe you are just a student. You will just be gisting with the person as if he's a normal. You won't be in Nigeria. You know how these things are. It doesn't happen like that. You know, there is always that class. You, know, you are not in my class, blah, 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 kind of stuff. But it's not like this here. And everybody is just, it's as if everybody is the same. Uh -huh. So when you will now know that everybody is not the same, it's now when you go to the place of work and maybe see the the maybe when there's a project or something going on, that's when you will know. Okay, no, this is not. But outside, meeting people socially, everybody is just like on the same level. You know, it's just so mad compared to what we have in Nigeria. So another thing I want to talk about is that everything is online here. That's just another shock. Like anything you want to do, it's just online. If you want to, maybe let's say you want to book an appointment, you have to do it online. If you want to maybe go, like take transport, a bus, you, have to, you want to book anything, you book online. Everything is just online. It's not maybe, unlike Nigeria now, maybe you want to pay in the public. I'm, I know you can do some of this things online, no, but some places you can't do it online. So here, there is nothing like, everything has to be online unless it's something lectures online like a uh, uh, conference it's a lot of things almost everything is online so that's the now the last and not the least is that here yeah, if you are a single person here yeah, you will suffer you will really suffer like you will be so lonely that you you you, you will. <laughs> guys it's not funny show. it's not really funny so i think if you apply to migrate like this whether you marry you because if you're a single person, you see suffering, you will suffer. So thank you guys for watching my video. Um, it's just like a very fun video for me. So it's a fun thing for me, you know. I usually have a very, very busy week. So whenever it's Saturday, I'm always happy that I have a chance to interact with you guys, you know. At least just to ease up the stress. So thank you so much for watching and please subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.